short exchange in some hints on why this sounds so good. What, what do you, what's your first thing that comes to mind? Uh, the red caps. Ah, the, the red, red caps. caps. And there's probably people out there, more than one, that don't really understand what we're talking about when we talk about red caps. Maybe you could fill them in on that, Randolph, if yes. you would please. Yes, uh, on the, well, from mid-64, in uh, mid-64, the tone generators were capped with red, what we call red cap capacitors, as well as the line box on the vibrato skin. Uh, it's red cap. And musicians have noticed a difference in the tone of the instruments since they started using what I think was called mylar covered capacitors, where prior to that they were wax covered and paper covered capacitors. So now, as we know, some of those wax capacitors can sound exceptionally oh, good. Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. when we find those that do, we just don't, we leave them alone. Sir, yes, absolutely. <laughs> But you know, what comes along always with the red capacitors is a, 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 another situation that has to be dealt with. Foam. Oh, yeah. keyboard yeah. foam. Yeah, keyboard foam, yes. Yeah, so someone at the factory came up with this idea after spending decades using felt, felt strips in the keyboards to retain the uh, fine wires that go to each note. So there's like nine draw bars and there's nine wires that go to each key. So there's, there's a need to like, you know, secure them with something and they used a strip of felt in there. Like, like a piano has a lot of felt in it, mm -hmm. you know, for various reasons. And, but this, in this case, the felt had to be riveted in place. So when this foam material with an adhesive backing came on the market, someone at the factory said, well, we don't have to rivet. We can put that right on there. It'll do the same job. And hey, we'll save $3 per organ or whatever it was, you mm -hmm. know, at the time. Well, in retrospect, while at first it seemed like a really good idea to save money on every organ, it turned out to be a disaster, really, because that foam over a period of time, decades, if it's exposed to heat and humidity, that foam material starts to dry out or decay, or in the worst situation, it turns into a gummy mass. Yes. There was a movie about that, like The Alien or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> turns into a gummy mass. Then, if it was just a matter of cleaning it off, hey, you know, no really big deal. And sometimes you can clean it off, especially if it just dries out, but does not turn into the gummy mass found on alien spaceships. Then, if you can clean it off and just vacuum it out, then you might get lucky. But then you want to come back, and we have, a develop, we have developed a, a system of wire retention that uses nylon or copper uh, weaving because uh, you still have to retain and secure those wires. But in this case, on the front of the organ, there's a label, certified foam free, yes. which means we have dealt with that issue and it will never be a 
problem in the future. So I noticed the percussion on this is extra strong. Oh yes, the bass as well. Oh okay, okay. Great bass response. Yeah. And what caught my eye immediately when you selected a Leslie for this organ, they're both now kind of like a brown mahogany. The Leslie has some walnut grain in it. I'm sure the organ might have some walnut in there too, but I'm seeing a lot of mahogany. But it's brown mahogany. It's not that deep red vine, uh, wine color, you know, like a burgundy color. Right. So in this particular pairing, we've got brown walnut and brown mahogany, and they look fabulous together. Beautiful. That Leslie is a vintage Leslie that we sent to our refinisher. And uh, wow, it just looks fabulous. So this is a great pair. It's, it's budget friendly from the point of view that we have a sale going on right now. Maybe you didn't even hear about this one, Randolph. <laughs> B3s until the end of the year are $4,000 down. Wow. 400 a month with zero interest until it's paid off. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, that's for a church that's well established. Uh, or we have cash discounts, military discount, repeat customer discount. You know, we have all these discounts, so. Uh, it, it's a great plan, but if, if people uh, just want to write us a check or do a wire transfer, they'll get a nice discount. But if you prefer to pay things over a period of time, so we structured it for B3s, 4000 down, 400 a month, zero interest. And then if somebody in six months or a year wants to pay it off because of a generous donor at the church, then they get a discount on any remaining balance. <laughs> We just ask they don't use their credit card, they use a church check. Makes sense. Okay, and then so uh, C3 is even less expensive. 3500 down and 350 a month. Oh, Zero interest. And you know, delivery gets uh, worked into that one way or another. Delivery's not free. Uh, and then an A100, if somebody really wants the most budget-friendly organ possible that still has the same parts that were used in a B3. Right. So then we have a, an A100, and there's some beautiful matching Leslie's for those now okay. that give you the full sound. You know, you don't have to settle for some small Leslie. You know, you get the real power of a 122, 147 power amp. Yes, yes. And the A100's a bit more compact. So uh, if, if the B3 is 4,000 and the C3 is 3,500 down, then the A100 logically would be like around 3,000 down and 300 a month. And then in, in the monthly payment, you have your extended warranty that get, you get charged for, but it's all zero interest. And there's one other thing, like if you didn't, if you didn't like that for some reason and you wanted zero down, like nothing, and no payments for 90 days. Well, that we work through a, 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 an affiliate finance company who does a lease to own program. Wow. So there's something that's affordable for just about every customer. Yeah. It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't, it doesn't really. <laughs> Unless you had a two for one sale. Okay. <laughs> you know, you bogo like at Publix, you know, you, get, you buy one, you get one for free. Right, right. We could probably do that if somebody bought our best B3, we'd give them a Hammond Elegante for the house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, enough of us talking. Randolph, what you going to play now? I'll just continue to swing. Yeah. Just going to swing out just on this uh, beautiful B3, out. number yes. 440, what were 1965. Yes. Thanks for your time and attention, folks. Please uh, let us know what you think about all this stuff we were talking about. We'd love to hear from you, your comments, suggestions, and so forth. God bless you all. Thank you, Randolph. Right
thanks for watching our video, and thank you also for uh, helping keep the ham and tone wheel B3 organ alive. We couldn't do all this work that we do here without you. And it would also help greatly if you could subscribe, like, uh, ask for notifications for when we have new videos. That would be a big help for us. So we thank you once again. I'm signing off for now, but we will be back.